And y'all remember back in the Resurrection F arc when Piccolo got pieced up by Tagoma? You know that one random Frieza soldier who was Frieza's punching bag for all four months of his training and yet somehow came out stronger from it? I mean, we're talking about a guy who was only like Zarbon level at his peak, and yet all of a sudden he can come and body Piccolo. You know, the same Piccolo who at this point should be comparable to Super Perfect Cell, or hell, even Majin Buu. The same Majin Buu who Frieza even stated in that same arc his father told him to avoid combat with. And yet somehow this random, generic-ass Frieza soldier can somehow go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Piccolo. I've already made an entire video on why we should respect Piccolo more, but then he has moments like this where I'm just thinking we should take the respect back because they be doing Piccolo dirty. At one point in time, Akira Toriyama said that Piccolo was his favorite character, but hell, with stuff like this, I can't tell. I mean, I thought Frieza getting golden form and somehow surpassing Super Saiyan Blue, which surpasses Super Saiyan God, the same Super Saiyan God that almost destroyed the entire Universe 7 macrocosm. I mean, I already thought that was kind of BS, but at least with Frieza, he's a prodigy. But this Tagoma guy was literally just a generic Frieza soldier. But what makes this even worse is the fact that Captain Ginyu came back, switched bodies, and somehow was even stronger in this man's body than he was. Of course, it really didn't mean anything because Vegeta came and just killed him instantly, which, you know, is the smart thing to do, but goddamn. I mean, heck, in the movie, he was struggling against that one red Frieza soldier. I think his name was Shisami or something, or Sashimi, like the freaking food platter or whatever. Whatever his name was, in the movie, Piccolo was struggling. Gohan, who had gotten weaker over time, had to come and help him. But then you do this in the actual anime, and it's like, what the heck, man? I know Piccolo wasn't the only character that was basically relegated to the sidelines so that Goku and Vegeta could shine, but man, I feel like he's one of the worst examples of it. You had this guy get beat up by a Frieza soldier. I know you wanted to kind of make a Frieza soldier like Tagoma look strong and go out there and be like, okay, Frieza's army's kind of improving and all that. But the fact that this guy went from Zarbon level to being able to take on Piccolo, who should be at the very least on the level of Super Perfect Cell, the same Super Perfect Cell who could destroy the entire solar system. Somehow I'm supposed to believe he got to that level in four months. As I said, Frieza's growth was ridiculous, but at least he has the excuse of being a prodigy. But this guy, what the hell, man? Like, why do half of these characters even train when these generic-ass Frieza soldier guys who are nothing more than henchmen are just going to be able to surpass them in that short amount of a time? It never made any damn sense to me. But of course, this is all just my opinion. Y'all let me know what you think in the comments below. Anyways, that is a very quick video I wanted to put out for you guys today. Before you go, please consider subscribing to the channel, hitting that notification bell, also liking this video and sharing it with your friends. And let me know, what do you think of Piccolo getting bodied by Tagoma? Do you think it was cool? Do you think it makes sense that Tagoma got that strong? Do you think it was stupid? Let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Anyways, thank y'all for watching this video. More videos coming soon, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.